Okay, so I just finished rubbing on another section and um, actually rolling it on and rubbing it off. Um, so I'll do the wholesale. Uh, this originally, I don't think I turned on the movie section. Originally I used a die for this sale. And it worked pretty good, except for it seemed it was water soluble. So every time the boat was left out in the rain <clears throat> and the sails were dripping, we'd end up with, um, with a little reddish puddle. So it's faded quite a bit if you compare. So this will really freshen it up. Now it does stiffen the sail slightly. I made a mistake with Crow. I thought I, I could get away with rubbing it on the main, sorry, rolling it on the mainsail and just thinning it and rolling it on lots so that it kind of spread it around because it was, it's a lot of work to rub it off. But uh, turned out um, I had a little bit of chipping, like or what, flaking, I guess you'd call it. And there was old um, numbers with glue and that flaked. And, and so really, I was really unhappy with how it turned out there. But this cloth, it seems to be working extremely well by rubbing it off, which is a step that I'm not skipping this time. It uh, works it into the fabric. And while it will stiffen it just slightly, it's, it's still pretty good considering this is an old sail that I cut the top off and anywhere else. Yeah, no, I just cut the top off and turned it into a, a, um, a sprit uh, sail. So uh, for thorn. And uh, it works well enough. Uh, I could use a little more surface, more area, more sail area. And I was looking through my bag of old sails, and frankly, uh, nothing was really suitable to just, you know, cut and 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 uh, make up another sail for it. So this has been working. I could be faster with more sail area. Uh, Thorn's pretty stable, her shape, um, but uh, and and she'll she'll get going. Trust me, but. Uh, I, I always like to think I can go faster. <laughs> so, so you can see this is going to turn out pretty good. I'll show you a progress report later. Okay, that's one side done. How nice is that? I got a little splatter on the clear window, but from a distance you're not going to see it. So I can probably pick that off as well, but it is plastic, so it might have, uh, might have set a bit. But, much nicer than it once did look. So I have the other side, so I'll let this set a bit. Dry is the other word for that. And then uh, I can go do, uh, flip it and do the other side. Go do some other things in the meantime. And uh, I'm really pleased. That looks much nicer than, like I say, what it did. Okay, another point uh, I should just mention. I have this old garden table, or picnic table, oh, what's it called, I don't know, uh, it's a plastic table. Um, <laughs> and um, when, when I did the big sail, that was another thing I found problematic, is sliding a large sail that you just painted over, I had two tables set up, and trying to keep it from getting dirty and on the ground and so forth. So now I have a new technique, I stretch the sail out, and then just move the table under the area that I'm I'm working. So that works much better. Should anybody ever try to do this? <laughs> like that's going to happen. But you can see from old crappy looking sail to at least something that looks decent. So it, it is a valid way of sprucing up otherwise crap. And unfortunately, you know, if I had all the money in the world... I just buy new sailcloth and sew myself a new set of sails and or get somebody to sew me sails but um, I don't have that so this is a wonderful way to still have a boat that goes how bad does a sail have to be to not sail at all I once heard so bottom line is uh, this is a way to get a sail that uh, takes the boat along still looks decent and uh, uh, performs relatively well Okay, as it so happens, I've been working on all three boats, setting up the sail here, and uh, eh, cleaning up to the best of my ability. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not the cleanest guy in the world. Um, and I got Crow set up, 
And what I did is I added a vang. And I did a little painting on the step. Um, but I added a bit of a vang. It goes back to be cleated there. And, you know, the vang actually draws the boom down a bit. And that uh, fills the sail. It's working out all right. And then I added to Deanne's rose, um, these motor brackets, mine don't have springs, so I've added these trucker bungees so that uh, the motor's not impossible to lift, which it was near impossible to lift. Um, so at any rate, um, that helps a bit, gives a little bit of a juice up. So there you go, just playing around.